three lead. Next Packer drive third and eight from midfield. Rodgers, Quinnen Williams had a great season yesterday. <laughs> he was absolutely yeah. dominant against this Green Bay offensive line. Beautiful yeah. job on the inside. Yeah. So that forces a punt. But hold everything. Will Parks is coming. Oh, he's got it. Pick it up and go. And the Green House up and go. goes wow. <laughs> Gone. Takes it to the house for the score. And I just about lost my mind. Look at your boy. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Look at that. 17-3 <laughs> Jets. Now, Rodgers looking to bring him back. Alan Lazard in the corner of the end zone. Yeah, but it takes a perfect throw. And that's kind of the story right now for Green Bay's offense. Got him in the inside slot fade. Space to throw it. Really good throwing catch. At that point, I was positive we were going to lose. 17-10 Jets. First play, fourth quarter. Brees Hall. Sick design. I run. think this is supposed yes, to be a is. reverse pass to Garrett Wilson. He realizes the defense goes upfield. Becomes a football player. Takes it himself. Jets up 24-10. Under 10 minutes to go. Packers fourth and 14. It was this kind of day. No one open. You got seven guys in coverage, but this front four is still good enough to get to the quarterback. Really good blanket coverage on the back end. The Jets defense was the best unit on the field. Jets dominate at Lambeau Field. 27-10. Aaron afterward. Nobody works harder than Matt on the plan each week, and nobody comes with better ideas than him and his staff. Um, but if it's not working, um, it's not because those guys aren't grinding. It's because we're not executing. And uh, if we think we have the right players, then we need to simplify things. If you don't, then that's a whole other conversation. We need to simplify things. I'm going to come back to that. In the meantime, my buddy RC yesterday tweeting, God accept two truths. In Green Bay, two teams in green. One of them looks pretty good. The other stinks to hell. As my Uncle Sweet used to say, ain't what you think, baby. Jets ain't the Jets we've gotten used to, and the Packers ain't either. RC, explain that tweet. Listen, when you look at what the New York Jets are, we have to stop looking at them with our old eyes and believing that they aren't something that they are this year. They're physical, defensively, they're creative, offensively, and they're also talented. But this team is playing extremely hard in every phase, and Brees Hall is a stinking star Ooh. at the running back position. How about the Packers? And now, let's think about the Packers. We came into this year, and Dan has even been on here saying, they're going to get better, guys. Oh, Let's oh, relax, guys. Aaron, there's Aaron Rodgers. Even and then like Aaron Rodgers yes, has do. all of these yes, even that he's going to make so much better at the football, guys. Well, it ain't happening. I don't know and this. defensively, you have all of these you dudes now. that you drafted, and you spent all of this draft capital, and nobody's playing up to the level that they should be as a unit defensively. They can't stop the run. They don't make plays in the past, and they aren't pressuring the quarterback consistently. This is an average football team and the Green Bay Packers and all of Wisconsin have to accept that. Remember I told you I'd sign up any day of the week to play against this team yep. right here, even though it's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is still great, all right? But my goodness, they stink on the outside, all right? I think Devontae Adams might have been a mistake, yep. a, a mistake of incredible, I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous how big a mistake it was, all right? Why? They don't win outside, all right? Aaron Rodgers, I think, is like the 30th ranked uh, quarterback in the league throwing outside the numbers. Who's that on? Is that on Aaron Rodgers? He lays the ball in there perfect. It's on the receivers. You don't have them. When he's talking about simplifying things right here, oh, by the way, don't worry. They'll be great at the end of the year. What? Great at the end of the year? They're going to be lucky as hell if they make the playoffs. And you've got okay. one of the all-time greatest quarterbacks. It's almost impossible not to make the playoffs with a quarterback, a, a franchise right. quarterback. What are you disagreeing They're with, heading in I don't direction. understand. Because we got to get off the roller coaster of the weekly. What roller coaster? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not on the roller coaster, just, but every but every week we're like, oh, they missed Devontae. Devontae is not coming back. Yeah, you're darn right, right. he's not coming back, and that's why this team ain't coming First back. First of all, I told you Josh Allen was the best player in football yesterday. Second best player was Quinn. I said it when he got drafted. Second the best player right. was Quinn and Williams. Right. He was dominant. Okay. I I don't remember the last time that I saw a team go into Green Bay and physically whoop up on Green Bay. That's why this game was with the way it was. It wasn't because Green Bay doesn't have Devontae Adams on the outside. They stunk on first down. They yeah. had five or six drops. They're on third and long, and their offensive line got absolutely whooped. That's why this offensive line is supposed to be the foundational aspect of their team. When they say that they want to be a offensive line, run game, and play action-based offense, and you can't play to that, that's what happens in this game. It's not that they're not getting separation on the outside. It's because they got whooped on I have a question. No, man. Are they getting separation on the outside? Hell no. Are they getting separation on the outside? It's though? hard to get separation on the outside on third and eight, no matter who you are. 
because it's an obvious situation. Aaron they Rogers, play way too much in the gun. Aaron Rodgers said after the game, we need to simplify if we think we have the guys here to make plays. Well, here's my, but, but they're running the very similar offense that they ran last year, Greeny. That's Aaron Rodgers' way of saying we don't have the guys you here to run the, the offense we're team. trying to so run. Why do we have to paint this picture this vividly for you? But when you this. don't have those people, creativity has to be your backbone because you're trying to, to kind of narrow the talent gap. I don't believe it. They're not as, like that creative. I it is not part. simplifying. It's just that they got whooped up front. That's the bottom so, line. So, so, so in, in your estimation then, Dan, is, it, is, is this going to be on Coach LaFleur and his office of staff to start doing more things, more bunches, more stacks, trying to find ways to create separation, Absolutely. more emotion, I, and you believe that helps this team and they have the pieces to do it? Totally. I love Matt. His younger yeah. brother was a better coach yesterday. Yeah, they got whipped in every phase of this game. Real quick, go ahead. Every phase of this game they got whipped. All right, we will leave that there for the moment because we're just racing. I want to get everything in that we can here and then Steve. Stephen A is coming. Michael is coming. Let me get Ravens and Giants in here because this was dramatic. It, 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 here at, at MetLife, uh, early fourth quarter, Ravens leading 13-10, and Mark Andrews going to make it a two-score game. Yeah, beautiful throw, re realizing the clock is winding down. Maybe we've winded down too much, but a beautiful inside slot fade to Mark Andrews. Yes, it had been on zero for about a half an hour, and Brian Dayball doesn't like it, but still, next Giant possession. The Giants come back, and the Ravens let them. Story of the season is Daniel Jones booting to his left to find Daniel. Daniel Bellinger has become a staple of their offense. In the low red. Man. Next Ravens drive. Rex, how does this happen? The, the, the quarterback sneak on a third and one, but they have an illegal yeah. formation. How in the hell does that happen? That's on coaching. Yeah. That's a huge mistake, so it sets up a third and six, and then the biggest play of the day happens. Yeah, it looks like he's either not ready for the snap or just drops it. Now, you still have a three-point advantage, but you try to be Superman here at Lamar, which I love about you, but Julian Love's right there for the interception. A huge turn of events. That that's a huge mistake from Lamar Jackson in his own territory. Giants get great field position. Two minutes to go, third and three. It looks like the defense has made the biggest play of the day for Baltimore as Jones is intercepted by Marcus Peters. But wait, they call pass interference. We'll show it to you. Dan, is this a good call? I think it's a good call because you're going to see Marcus Peters as he's going to be playing this man coverage. Watch the pull with the right arm right there to keep Slayton close to him. And Slayton kind of does a really good acting job, but that's a legit call. Rex, is it a good call? Yeah, I mean, it's a good call, but it's funny. The Slayton's offense was trying to get it as yeah. well. So. One way or another, it changes everything. Saquon takes it in. Giants take a 24-20 lead. Lamar's got one more chance. I tell you what, the Giants, this kid Kayvon Thibodeau, they're a highly drafted rookie. He's getting to be really, watch really him, Watch him hunt the ball right here. As Lamar moves in the pocket, one hand, hunt the ball, and then he pushes Lamar out of the way so he can't go get the fumble. He has become a big-time player for this front. The New York Giants are 5-1, <laughs> and one, as absolutely <laughs> no one on the planet oh. predicted. In the meantime, Lamar Jackson, these are his numbers in the fourth quarter this season. One passing touchdown. Four interceptions. The QBR is 28. That's on a scale of 1 to 100. RC, what is happening with Lamar Jackson? I have been the, the, the biggest proponent of saying, give Lamar Jackson his money. He has earned it. Everything that he's done in this league shows that he's an elite quarterback. Elite quarterbacks make plays in the fourth quarter. Elite quarterbacks make their teams better in the fourth quarter. And when if you're the Baltimore Ravens and you didn't want to meet his demands of guaranteed money before this season, in no way is this season proving that you should do that. And so if you're Lamar Jackson and you know you have a defense that's going to give up points late, you have to make plays. And we saw when that ball was fumbled, I believe he immediately clicked into, I can't just let this play go. I can't just throw this football away. And he hurt his team. Even if everything around you is crumbling, if you're Lamar Jackson, you cannot allow it to affect you. It's starting to affect Lamar Jackson in the fourth quarter, and this team is going to play its way out of the playoffs because of it. Yeah, absolutely. And when you look at it, it comes down to the fourth quarter. Their defense has been horrendous in the fourth quarter. All right. And Lamar Jackson specifically has been, been terrible in the fourth quarter. Look, this is the only team in the league's had double-digit leads in every single game, but mm -hmm. they don't close out. Good teams close out games. This team, unfortunately, is average. The New York Giants, after halftime, have beaten Mike Vrabel, Matt LaFleur, and John Harbaugh by outscoring them 55-19. to Brian Dable, Coach of the Year. Oh, oh, yeah. By a mile, and no one's even close. So much here, as we will continue in just a moment here. It's a jam-packed morning, and it's only going to get ratcheted up a notch. Stephen A's on his way. Michael Irvin's on his way. It's going to be crazy. Coming up next, rush hour over for the Cowboys. Fly